was a, a longtime mob guy, probably out of the 30s and 40s, and, and uh, a young thug. He was a cousin, I believe, or a close, had a close relationship with uh, Carl Tuffy Luna, who would go on to be the underboss. And I'm not sure if Tuffy was, Tuffy probably was the underboss in, in 1966, I think, when Sam was killed. Uh, but, uh, and Nick Savella was the boss. And, and so for, for Sam Palma to be murdered, it, first of all, it had to be approved at the highest levels, maybe even all the way to Chicago, because they knew that this was going to create a lot of publicity. Um, and, and, you know, publicity is, is bad for the mob and good for the government. Sam Palma had been involved in a grocery store robbery down in Houston, and back then grocery stores were, were great to rob because that's where you got your cash. Grocery stores all kept a lot of cash as for ATMs and credit cards. So if you, you went to the grocery store, you cashed a check uh, and got 10 bucks or 20 bucks extra. So they had a lot of cash, and he and, and some other guys, and, and uh, uh, probably the other guy that was arrested and, and copped a plea in this guy named Vincent Beans Inzarello, went down there and robbed the store and, and, and it kind of went screwy and, and they shot a guy in, in the foot during the robbery and, and they got away and they, but they had to hustle and, and they mailed the guns that they used and their money back and somehow the package that was with the guns and the money uh, got to the post office and it broke open. Now I don't know, I'm suspicious about that.